Places where water and land meet all along the breathtaking Pacific coast offer an incredible wealth of natural beauty and diversity. But they might also offer something else. Of these breathtaking rocky shores, underneath the ocean surface, lie hidden treasures that might tell us how we got here. Parts of the mystery lives within the galleries of underwater forests made out of kelp that swing along with the rhythm of the waves. Because life is so plentiful along these green-brown beds of plants, it has led scientists to challenge established theories about human history and our migration between continents. John Erlinson, professor for anthropology at the University of Oregon, is one of the scientists who have been investigating this idea. I have been an advocate of at least studying the possibility that people moved from Asia into the Americas by coast and maybe in boats. I was invited to go to Santa Barbara and meet with a group of marine ecologists. And the whole purpose of the workshop that spanned two or three years of meetings was to try to understand how humans had changed the ocean through time. And it was an extraordinary experience for me. It really changed the trajectory of my career. It also taught me that there were kelp forests essentially, not continuously, but nearly continuously all the way around the Pacific Rim from Japan to Baja, California. Dr. Erlinson approached global kelp expert Dr. Michael Graham, an oncologist in his workshop group who now works at Moss Landing Marine Laboratories near Monterey, California. So John came to me a long time ago um, asking about the richness of the ecology, right? Not, not really about the people, but just how, what was really out there. And, and I think what really got him was when I just started saying, well, you know, from Alaska to Mexico, it's the same stuff, right? There's these big kelp forests, and so there's lots of food, there's marine mammals, there's fishes, there's invertebrates, there's things you can go pick up, there's things you can fish for, there's things you can make, you know, um, clothing out of. It's just, uh, it's a pretty accessible system, and it goes from the beginning to the end. One of the primary reasons why the entire stretch from Japan to Mexico was so productive is the presence of kelp forests that can be found all along the northern Pacific Rim. Dr. Erlen 